Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. We are running for Dirt Perfect today in the map with the low boy. We are headed up that hill. Same place I got stuck not too long ago. We're going to pick up the 120 and then you'll just have to stay tuned to see what we're getting into. This is from the video where we were doing the brush burning. Mike was doing all land clearing. Uh, he went out of town with the man behind the scenes, so I came up and just threw the pile together a few times for him to keep the brush burning. But it's where we ended up getting the truck stuck on the back side of the loop. I said we, I mean me. Basically, I kept spinning out washboard and I had a hard time getting out and I uh, had to call Mike to come and drive me out. And he did, no problem. That uh, makes sense. He is the better driver of the two of us. So that works, but Mike's in Kentucky today. I'm probably close to 45 minutes away, so I told him that uh, I was just staying on top of the hill at the truck today, and we're just going to track on around. That's what we're going to do. It definitely takes a little bit of time, but it's quicker than getting stuck. You know what I mean? Some guy just left his house up there and stopped and said, what's the project of the day? And I said, oh, go get this machine out of here. He said, you going to be okay with that? And I don't know if he was genuinely concerned or if he's seen the channel. You know what I mean? I, it's hard to tell sometimes. Hard to tell. I've got the shovel with me though. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna need that. Oh yeah. A little bit of shoveling though. Not too bad. It looks like it's all pretty loose. Let's see if we can walk it down to the flat spot down here.
got several I keep with me, I just forgot to take an extra one down the hill. But anyway, let's get loaded. If you ever want to make sure you're going to be in the way of traffic, the best thing to do is to load a piece of equipment on a dead end road. I'm telling you, load a piece of equipment on a dead end road and you'll be in everybody's way. Flags, dag want flags. Now we got it. Now we're ready to go. River, Kentucky, Indiana. You guys got it. John Deere 120. Uh, the D4s up there somewhere. We dropped it off earlier today, but on a different video. No power lines to worry about. Should be good to go here. One twenty D four. I'd show you more, but there's a school bus coming down the road. We're just, I'm telling you, traffic is just tough sometimes out in the country. So we're gonna hurry up and get out of here. All right, it is a new day couple days down the line we're getting ready to take the 140 to a job site for Mike and at that job site there's a couple pieces of equipment we got to pick up and bring back looks like this is just gonna be a good old-fashioned trucking video that's what we're doing on this one. Oh, oh yeah okay yeah there it is
right, we made it. Chains are off. Ramps are down. You see that. Let's get this thing off the trailer. Oh, it's unlocked today. That's good. We'll get this off the trailer, and then we'll play our favorite game with the equipment we're picking up. It's called Will It Start? One of my top 10 favorite games to play. Next to Will It Start, I'd say my next favorite game we're going to play is, uh, did he turn around here, or did he back out when he dropped the equipment off? You know what I mean? It's just fun. It's fun. Oh, it must have been raining. Well, that's not a fun game. Take two. Take two. She did it on take two. Nice job, Volvo. Where the heck's that at? There it is. So that is right there, fuel tank on the roadside. That way he can top her off before he starts. If he so chooses, we're taking this and this in the bucket. Now, Mike did tell me, he said, don't forget to take the jump pack. The roller might be dead and I forgot to bring the jump pack. So this is going on last, but let's just, let's, you know, why wait to see how bad the day is gonna be? Oh, there's a master somewhere, hold on. Oh, sheep's foot, in case you, in case you didn't notice. Somewhere back here, I think. If I look in here. He said you can just reach up, but I don't know, I got a problem just reaching into random places. You think that was it? Does it feel like a master? What is that? Yeah, maybe it is. Fixing to find out. Okay. I don't know, I feel like it should do. Oh, there's some movement. We had an issue last time we did it. Hoping we don't have the same issue. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, the horn doesn't work. We'll just leave that run. This has to go on first. We'll play the same game. Are you telling me everything started today? Unreal. Crazy.
Okie dokie. Not too terrible. Not bad at all. Reach your hand back into this mysterious cavity again. Yeah, that'll work. Chains. Get this thing chained down. I don't know where that road goes. I don't know what bridges are on there. We'll probably just back out. Normally I'd put the roller on first and the skid steer back here and separate the weight, but that's coming off first. We're going two different spots, so I kind of got loaded a little, a little wonky, but it'll work. That's why I don't want to go across any mysterious bridges though. You know what I mean? I'm just not distributed very well. Sometimes people ask if I really like the speed binders. Yeah, I really do like the speed binders, especially whenever you know you need eight binders for the day and you forget to grab two off the trailer when you leave in the morning. It kind of reminds you when you have to dig an old one out of the bottom of the well. Same place we dropped the 120 off up there in the D4. I came in from a different direction this time just because of where I picked that up, which means my trailer is not facing the right angle. So I may try to do it on this approach instead. I think I got enough I can get off there with the sheep's foot, and get up through there. As long as this is actually his, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. The only thing I know is it's Friday and I'm ready to go home. You know what I mean? So let's just do it. If it was a smooth drum, I'd just off load it onto the road, but I just have a feeling that sheep's foot isn't going to trip the road as nicely, you know? Nice little Friday stroll with the sheep's foot. It's a beautiful view, can't beat that. Probably why they're building here somewhere. And we're good. One more. We just gotta get that dropped off. But if things go really well, gosh, and when have they, we'll pick up another piece of equipment that I'm pretty excited about.
So all in all, pretty good couple days of hauling, a couple half days of hauling, I guess, after shift, but it worked out great. Everything went well. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head to Mike's. We're gonna grab the CA500 and Plan B, and we're gonna take something up to the house. We're only gonna use it for like an hour or so, but I'm excited to try it out. Mike said we can borrow this today to uh, lower the water level in the pond, and I'm not gonna say no to that. How could a fella? There's still plastic on the seat. We gotta get that hooked up though. Just kidding. We're gonna go get a jump pack out of the garage or out of the shop. The truck's dead. Round two. Here we go. All right, let's try this thing. We're couple chains short on the truck, but Mike's gonna save the day. Mike always saves the day, doesn't he? He's going to grab a few chains. What is happening? Oh, how do you start? Is this like a push to start? Hyundai start. Oh, now it's got a key. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if they sent it with that. Yep. Wow. Oh yeah? They are gone. Isn't that fancy? Yeah, okay. All right. Whoa, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, those are comfy. Where's the blade control? Right there, where wouldn't it? That's perfect. <laughs> oh, this is riding, this is spacious. Interesting. Man, you're not getting it back. They're just gonna have to send you another one. I mean, this thing is really nice, though. I know it is. Like it's Loaded. It's chained down. Uh, it's go time. Well, like we gotta get there. I'm just, I'm excited. Mike, you can breathe for a second, bud. Just breathe for a second. There we go. Let's get this thing there in one piece. And then, uh, oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, so we're down here at the pond. You guys can see that. Remember the dam failure over there? I'm gonna dig this out. We're gonna dig it out. We keep pumping it, but it keeps raining. And we get tired of pumping it, so we're just gonna dig it out lower so it stays lower. I'm not gonna do a lot of clearing with this because I don't have it, there's no thumb on it, and that's fine. I'm just gonna do enough clearing to uh, take it down along this trench so I'm not scraping this pretty new paint, you know what I mean? It's a little tricky to clear without a thumb, but it's not too bad. You just can't quite move stuff as easily, obviously. But you can just pop the root balls and kind of swing it out of the way. It's not too bad. Best advice I can tell you if you're clearing without a thumb is to push it over. See how I got it between the teeth? And then you can pull it up like that. One of the things about a thumb is it kind of keeps stuff from coming back on the machine. So if you don't have one, you gotta really be aware of accidentally flinging a tree back on the machine. So if you push it down and get it stuck between the tooth and then you can pull that root rod up, kind of reduces those chances, if that makes sense. Oops, pull myself into the trench. Come on, there it is. Let's do it. 
dinner. Oh yeah. So if everything goes to plan, you guys have hopefully already seen this on a live stream. I'm gonna to try to live stream this Saturday. But if you haven't seen it already on live stream, then it's gonna come up in just a regular good old fashioned video like we do with the rest of our stuff. We'll see how it goes. Either way, I am super excited to get this thing on there. So everybody say thanks to Dirt Perfect for letting me borrow it and thanks to Hyundai for letting Dirt Perfect borrow it to try this thing out. I'm very, very excited to get this overflow dug out. All in all, pretty daggone good day. I'm pretty excited about it. Hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've got nothing else. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one. Oops.